Hi guys, welcome back to Thornton Hunter Motorcycles YouTube. My name's Jody, and today we have a very special guest and a build going on. So, over here we have the Jekyll and Hyde van driven all the way from the Netherlands, and we have a brand spanking new Triumph Bobber right inside here, which we are gonna modify into one of our V4 wide wheel bobbers. We've lined up everything in the workshop and it's all ready to go. And we've got to put this bike together in record time. So we're gonna whip this bike out of the van now, get it in the workshop and tear it apart. Okay, so while Evan is starting to take apart this bike, I'm gonna show you guys exactly why we're doing this build and show you who Jekyll and Hyde are and show you this exhaust that they've sent over to put on the build. So, Jekyll and Hyde build custom valve exhaust and this one is for the Triumph. Jekyll and Hyde are the market leaders with valve exhaust and look at how neat that is. So you just pull it out and there's everything you need. So we have control cables, wiring harnesses, we've got smart box, which is some sort of mode switch, uh, heat shields, and under here, looks like they've sent us a black exhaust. It's gonna look really cool, I think. These things are so nicely made, honestly. So we've already done a video on one of these with one of our V4 wide wheel kits. We'll put the link for that in the description below, but these essentially have three different modes. So we have closed, midway open and fully open as well. And the difference between those modes is actually like night and day, which you wouldn't really expect for a bike which still is Euro 5 compliant. These do actually add a little bit of performance as well, up to 5%. They do come with a four year warranty as well. So absolute monster bits of kit. I'm gonna get to grips with what is in this box here while Evan is pulling apart the bike. And then what I'll do is I'll pull all the exhaust off and then we'll be able to start putting this thing all back together and hopefully get it to a V4 kit by the end of the day. all the way apart now I've just got to take off the triple clamps and the handlebars and these will be the last bits that we take off before we start putting things back together that along with the shock so we're not actually replacing any of this all of this is staying standard so we don't need to take out any of the air boxes anything like that just gonna whip that exhaust off and then we're ready to start putting things back on so we have lots of stuff going together Evan has just put together the seat mount and the seat so we've got a Alcantara diamond stitch cover we have the brushed aluminium underneath, and then we've got one of our seat mounts as well. So you can buy these on our web shop. So click the link in the description below. We've also done a custom JNH laser cut seat plaque as well, which I think looks really cool and also matches the laser cut plaques that we have on the side panels too. We've got to whip the rest of the bits off this bike and I'll show you what we're putting on. So we've got the triple clamps that we've got to go back on. Then we've got to deal with the bars. We've got all new throttle potentiometer and everything lined up so you don't have to do any cutting, drilling, or soldering or anything like that as well. Um, we've also got to whack this on. Standard bikes now don't actually come with a rad guard, which means you've got to buy a Thornton 100 one. Click the link in the description below, you have to buy one because everyone needs a rad guard. Imagine you're flicking a stone up, ruin your cooling system, and then your bike overheats. Absolute nightmare, definitely get one of these. So I'm gonna bash this on right now. Okay, time for 
side panel. So obviously we've got this really cool paint split. So you've got the light gray, the red, which is actually a Ferrari color, and then we've got the Volkswagen pure gray at the bottom here. And I think these all look really cool. So what we've got as well is a laser cut black that we have bonded onto the front here. So it gives it more of a 3D texture. I think it looks really good. So the bash is onto the bike now. Now I'm gonna prepare the tank and then the tank will go on because all the bodywork is ready to go on now. Everything underneath is complete. And this bike is really gonna start looking like a motorbike again. Okay, so as you can see, this bike has undergone a huge aesthetic transformation. Me and have been cracking on all day. We have not stopped. We've got all the tools out. There's tools everywhere on this bench, but this bike looks so cool now. I'm really happy with this paint. I love the side panels and the little details like the little plaques and all the other bits. So, so now it's time for the main event. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out these end cans. We've already wired in the handlebar control while we were doing everything underneath the tank. And we've also put in the brain of the exhaust module under there as well. So that just replaced, plug straight into the OBD and then you get the replacement OBD here. So it kind of goes like in line. So it literally is completely plug and play this exhaust. So what I've got to do now is just whip these silencers off and then put the new silencers on and then we can give it a smash. See what it sounds like. I'm so excited to take this thing for a ride as well. And thank God it is dry too because we do not have time to do test rides in the wet. So yeah, very much looking forward to getting this bike done and dusted. So I'm gonna get this on there now, start up, see what she sounds like. Okay guys, so we are done and dusted with this awesome looking V4 wide wheel bobber, Thornton 100 edition with the Jekyll and Hyde valved exhaust system. So we haven't heard this startup yet. We're gonna go for a startup in a minute, but first let me show you what's inside these silencers. So obviously a very standard, similar looking kind of exhaust. What we have over here is the internals of the exhaust. So that goes there, that slides on there. We've got a really nice motion movement of it there all proper billet and stainless. So that clamps together and that is the internal valve. Now this is controlled by a motor at the back there, which is controlling two cables, which run a wheel, which spin the valve on the inside. So if we go for a startup, so this has got the standard cat in it, it's got the standard headers, and then we've got the silencers at the back here. So fuel pump prime, make sure we're in neutral and... So, a very, very, very civilized starter. This is with the valve shut. So the valve is shut right now, and the exhaust gases are traveling around the valve and coming through the silencer and then out the end of the exhaust. Obviously, we have two cats in the end of this, in this exhaust right now to make sure it's EO5 compliant. So when we press this button up here, you should hear it go a lot louder. So a massive difference straight away, a much deeper tone and a much deeper note as well. So, back to standard, pretty much a standard bike. Valves open, much, much nicer. 
nice and noisy as well. As we can close the valves, double tap the button and have it halfway. Close, press it again, open. So, the ability to change the noise of the bike on the go, which is really useful, because sometimes you're not in the mood for a very, very loud exhaust. Sometimes you're not, you want to just cruise and you want it to be quiet. So this is the ideal exhaust. I hope Jekyll and Hyde like this bike. We absolutely love it here at Thornton 100. We think this exhaust fits in very well with the Bobber aesthetic. Check that out for a smoking exhaust. That looks awesome. See if you'll have to do a slow motion B-roll on that in a minute. But yeah, very happy with it. And very happy with me and the, two, the team at Thornton 100 as well, who have managed to pull it out of the bag and get a bike built very, very, very quickly for our friends over in the Netherlands at J and H Exhaust. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to J and H for supplying the exhaust and a bike for us to allow us to build a very cool custom platform as well. And this bike will be launched in December at the Custom Motorbike Show in Germany. So if you do get a chance to get there, make sure you get there. So make sure you click that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.